Good evening, happy holidays and welcome to The Nest. My name is Maureen Waititu and in this show we always bring you real stories from real people in order to inspire, inform and educate you. Tonight is no different because we have a lovely, beautiful guest who is here to give her testimony, you know, on how the Lord has been leading her in philanthropy work, in love, and something in between and more. And before we meet her, I'd like you to watch this short video and we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. There have been many different things written and said about marriage, from the sweetly inspirational to the hilariously cynical. But what many of them have in common is that they sound like they express a universal and timeless truth, when in fact, nearly everything about marriage, from its main purpose, to the kinds of relationships it covers, to the rights and responsibilities involved, has varied greatly between different eras, cultures, and social classes. So let's take a quick look at the evolution of marriage. Pair bonding and raising children is as old as humanity itself. With the rise of sedentary agricultural societies about 10,000 years ago, Marriage was also a way of securing rights to land and property by designating children born under certain circumstances as rightful heirs. As these societies became larger and more complex, marriage became not just a matter between individuals and families, but also an official institution governed by religious and civil authorities. And it was already well established by 2100 BC when the earliest surviving written laws in the Mesopotamian Code of Ur-Namu provided many specifics governing marriage from punishments for adultery to the legal status of children born to slaves. Lovely, we are so happy to have you here on The Nest and this show is about to get very interesting. My guest is a beautiful woman, a woman of God, a wife, <laughs> a friend and a philanthropic woman who is giving what she has to the community and you all know that's the greatest service to God. She's here to tell us about love. Where are we going wrong as young people? What's happening? Is it that there are too many choices along the way? But she's going to tell us about her journey from for, I, I think, and if I'm not wrong, 29 years ago. But let her introduce herself and get to talk to you. And I hope you'll be inspired by the end of this show. Rebecca. Yes. Karibu sana. Thank you, ma'am. Please take this opportunity to say hello to our guests and just introduce yourself. Hello. Uh, good evening. Uh, it's a good time here to come and greet you and share my testimony and also the goodness of the Lord and to give God the glory. My name is our Reverend Rebecca Wajiko Gitao Wakehio. I am born again. I love the Lord Jesus Christ for loving me and saving me. I am a mother to two children, uh, three children rather, uh, patients uh, uh, who has given us two grandchildren and joy uh hello joy <laughs> mommy is coming back home and uh shalom who lives in heaven since last year and uh, it's such an honor to get permission from my husband dr leverett kehio to come here and to speak to the nation so receive greetings from my family wonderful wow <laughs> it's it's just amazing how you express yourself and and speak to the world with so much elegance and we are very honored to have you here on the nest thank you you know and thank you for taking your time you know during this short period you're here in kenya thank you. you know to come and talk to the youth yes. thank you so um uh you've mentioned uh, shalom um, yes. I'm so sorry to hear that uh, Shalom is in heaven. Yes. But before we come to what it is today, mm -hmm. um, who is this girl, Rebecca? Where was she born? How did she grow up? Like just a bit about your background. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebecca <laughs> was born and raised in an escarpment village, Mimutoni. Mm -hmm. On your way to Nakuru, there is a village down there, beautiful viewpoint. That where I was born and raised mm -hmm. in a family of five. Uh, my dad, Geshinka Wajogona, uh, a Mau Mau warrior, uh, raised me up with one rag. And uh, he used to say, uh, disability is not in inability. And so that's why I grew up and uh, I enjoyed village life. Yes. 
and uh, now having gone abroad and coming back to the village yes. my my prayer and my passion is to make the village a better place yes. for those who live there yes yes, yes. What I was wonderful and and it's really amazing to remember where you're coming from yes. so that if god blesses you with resources yes. opportunities mm -hmm. uh, a chance to let the community you live with yes. share their gift of where you come from, yes. I think there's no better blessing. Yes. Wonderful. So, uh, Rebecca, um, how was your childhood like in terms of where did you go to school, what did you study, all the way till where you will meet the love of your life? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, uh, a good question. Mm -hmm. um, of course, growing up in an uh, escarpment village mm -hmm. in Rari, yes. in Kiabu County, mm -hmm. I went to escarpment primary oh, school. Nice. Uh, that's where I went to school. And mm -hmm. then I went to, after I finished, I yes. did very well. Yes. And I was admitted to Senior Chief Koinange oh, High School. Oh, nice. That's so a I went good to school. Senior Chief Koinange High School. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, I remember the time that uh, my, my dad, Gishinga, mm -hmm. with one leg, yes. the day he was taking me there mm -hmm. with the Mabati box. Mm -hmm. uh, we were going on this car pathway and uh, these vehicles were zooming and they were blowing dust on us. Mm. And uh, my dad with mm -hmm. his crutches mm -hmm. and me carrying the, the Mabati, Mabati box, box mm. my dad said, <laughs> and then my dad was saying, Kikuyu, yes. don't worry. Yes. Uh, there is no gate that, that God, God does, God does not, not know. know. Yes. And my dad graciously took me to Senior Chief Konange mm -hmm. High School. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Senior Chief Konange <laughs> High School. <laughs> and uh, for four years, mm -hmm. and of course, you know, every end of the month, they come and give you a slip to go home yes, when you yes. have not paid the yes, school fees. Yes. And I remember I would uh, pray mm. and I would ask the Lord, even if I'm chased to go home, yes. my dad doesn't have a cow, mm -hmm. no shabbat to sell. Mm. And I would go and talk to the principal yes. and I will ask them, please mm. allow me to stay in school. Mm -hmm. I have no fear to go home. Yes. And they would allow me to do that. Mm -hmm. And for four good years, mm -hmm. I would go to the Mr. Gatieri's office. Thank you, Mr. Oh. Gatieri. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would ask him to allow me to stay in school. Mm. And I would stay in school. Yeah. And for four years, mm -hmm. for those of you that are struggling with school fees issues, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to encourage you, don't mm. give up, mm. because God comes at the right time. Yes. For four years, I had a balance of school fees, and I could not get my certificate, mm -hmm. but I uh, prayed. Prayer mm -hmm. changes everything. Mm -hmm. I prayed to the Lord, mm -hmm. and prayer and fasting went to Karura Forest, prayed and fasted. Mm -hmm. I went back on Monday, and mm -hmm. I went to the office. I said, I've come for my certificate. Yes. <laughs> And she went now. He said, "You know, our board of the directors. Yes. We sat together yes. and we started to cancel yes. some debts. Yes. Yes. And uh, one of yours was for you, Rebecca oh Geshiga. And then I said, "Praise the Lord!" Yes. And that started my journey mm -hmm. of uh, being able to leave the village mm -hmm. because in my village of escarpment, mm. um, many girls they they have babies out of wedrock." And for me, because I was able to get out of the village mm -hmm. and to go to Senior Chief Konange mm -hmm. High School, mm -hmm. I was able to in intermingle with yes. the, all the other children yes. from the parts of Kenya. Yes. And I realized, yeah, I don't have to live like that. Like my people in my village, these are from Nairobi, yeah. Kisumu, yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. I was able to intermingle and kind of like open yes. my mind. Yes. And uh, that's why I went to school. Mm -hmm. Then I enrolled in a college here, started working at Kayuyu on River Road, mm -hmm. and I went to a college to do secretarial. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Uncle John, for helping me go do that Aww. little thing in, in, a, uh, in one of the Devonshire College. Mm -hmm. Then I was able to, my husband engaged me. We were going to Bagadi Road Church. Mm -hmm. He engaged me, he was going to leave Kenya, mm -hmm. and um, he left a ring. Mm -hmm. And he went to America mm -hmm. for Bible school. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when we started writing long letters, writing all these letters yes. in courtship. Yes. And when I went to the U.S. after our wedding, mm -hmm. I was able to join a Bible school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after joining a Bible school, mm -hmm. I went to 
uh, nursing school. Mm -hmm. And the reason I went to nursing school yes. was after I came back to Kenya, mm -hmm. after I had left. Mm -hmm. And what I saw in the village, yes. I was like, I got to do something here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I saw after gone, mm -hmm. I saw this little boy mm -hmm. using the palms of the hand and the bottom to, to walk yes. in the village. Yes, yes. I and my two children, patient and shalom. Mm -hmm. And I thought actually it was a goat mm. because it's a dirt road and this oh. young boy was using the palms oh. of the hand yeah. and the bottom of yeah. his... To scoot around. <laughs> to scoot. Yes. So I inquired, mm -hmm. I, whose child is that? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was able to intervene, mm -hmm. brought wheelchair for that child, took that child to a disabled school mm -hmm. and uh, my trip back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. The Lord was like, you mm. are the Esther mm. here. Mm. Mm. You are the Esther here. Perfect. And when I went home, mm. I went to nursing school mm -hmm. because I wanted to know how to do medicine. Yes. To take, to oh. take care of, uh, of, of people like mm -hmm. Joseph. His mm -hmm. name was Joseph. Mm -hmm. So that's how I ended up uh, founding uh, Kehu International Ministries. Mm -hmm. It's a ministry named after my son, Shalom. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, in regis registering organization in the U.S., you mm -hmm. have to have a name. Of course. And all the names we wanted, they yes. were all taken. Yes. So yeah. we suggested Kehu, yes. which is my son's middle yes. name. Yes, yes. And uh, the, whoever was registering for us, mm -hmm. he said yes. It is. So I was That's pregnant beautiful. with Shalom. And uh, mm -hmm. we registered the organization. Mm -hmm. And we named it Kehu International Ministries. Mm -hmm. And the, it was bad. The ministry was bad. Shalom mm -hmm. was born. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why when people tell me sorry about the going away to my son, mm -hmm. um, I say it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's only God who can orchestrate something like this. How can a mother mm -hmm. carry a baby yeah. and at the same time you carry a vision, you exactly. buy a vision to help wow. other people. Yes. And uh, we use Shalom's name to mm -hmm. describe what we are doing. Mm -hmm. S for salvation, mm -hmm. H for healing, mm -hmm. A for ability, L for love of Jesus. O for obedient to Christ and M for multiplication. Wow. And so it's an honor to be here. Yes. And uh, that's my education. My uh, goodness. And, I, and also education by living life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is, uh, that is sub, sub, uh, that goes beyond the book education. Exactly. Because uh, what, mm -hmm. what is in my book mm -hmm. is, uh, is real life stories. Mm. And uh, living with co in community, yes. you learn education. Yes. Uh, which cannot be found in books. It's very true. Yeah. Very true. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a lovely, lovely explanation yeah. to yes. so many things. <laughs> and um, I I'm very curious uh, about, you know, the love of your life. You know, you, you said uh, you met, engaged, you left, and, you know, he he managed to get you to go to America. Yes. If you can just tell us a bit, uh, you know, about how you met him, yes. how you felt about it. Mm -hmm. And in it, I would love to know when maybe God um, came into your life. And because I heard about this prayer for a young girl, yes. you know, to going to first and tell yes. the school, hey, yes. could you connect those two for us so yes. we can understand? Yes. Yeah. My transformation happened uh, when I was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, those of you from Emutoni and in Rari Subrocation, yes. those days we could go to sing, mm. like choir, independent mm -hmm. church. You go this Sunday school, you go compete with the other one. Yes. And this one Sunday, mm -hmm. we were going from my village to the other village mm -hmm. to compete singing. Yes. And my way back to the village, this one, that girl from Matadia, Wangoi, mm -hmm. Wangoi, I greet you. Thank <laughs> you for leading me to Jesus. <laughs> uh, she said, mm -hmm. you know, Shiko, they call me Shiko. You're a very good girl, but if you don't have Jesus in your heart, it's there's no heaven for you. <laughs> and so I ask her, what can I do? Yeah. What can I do mm -hmm. so that I can be assured that I'm going to heaven? Yes. And she said, uh, you can pray a prayer with me. Yes. And I remember like it's right now, mm -hmm. Maureen. Mm -hmm. I knelt down on a dirt road, yeah. rally somewhere, mm. trees all around, and she read me sinner's prayer. Mm. And she prophetically said, mm -hmm. what you have received to today is yes. hope. Not only that hope yours, it's yes. for everyone who is surrounding you. Yes. And sure enough, that hope is the one has become the mm. hope of that community. Wow. Because the children that we have educated, mm. they are often mm. from those children who are standing 
around yes, me yes. that day that I asked Jesus to come into my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, then when I finished high school, mm -hmm. and how I met Patrick, mm -hmm. I came to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And we were started going to Bagadi Road Church. Mm -hmm. And I became the youth secretary. Mm -hmm. And he was a youth chairman. Yes. And of course, we would pair each other. Yes. We would be under the tree. Mm -hmm. We would pair each other mm -hmm. so that the youth can go to witness yes. about Jesus. Yes. And of course, I would remain. Mm -hmm. Me and him will remain. Mm -hmm. And so we would, we would end up. We are just left to two of us, you know, <laughs> brothers and sisters in the Lord. I love how you, yeah. you know, you, you're like this little girl and I can yes. see you falling in love yes. years later. I love it. I yes. Love it. yes. So, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll play each other and we'll go knocking the doors mm -hmm. and witnessing and telling yes. people about the love of Jesus, yes. how much he loves mm -hmm. us, how he mm -hmm. cares for us mm -hmm. and, and giving hope. Mm -hmm. And uh, time came when he needed to go to the U.S. Yes. For, uh, for further studies. Mm -hmm. And that's when he decided to ask me mm -hmm. if I can be his wife. Wow. And I remember very, very well, mm -hmm. uh, he had to report to our bishop, Dr. Armstrong Chege, mm -hmm. that n we are no longer now in a, in yes. a Christ, uh, the love of <laughs> Jesus. Then, yes. We are developing another love. Wow. You know, we are developing another love. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he proposed to me. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I wanted this Fanta in soda. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> so he took me to New Stanley Hotel. Yes. And uh, he bought me a samosa. Yeah. This is a samosa. Yes. There was one other this one. Yes. And a Fanta. <laughs> almost used a, 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 almost his salary. Yes. Because he took me to New Stanley Hotel. Oh, yeah. Because he wanted to please me, you yes, know. Yes. And he asked me, would you marry me? And I said, uh, he said the Lord has spoken to him. Yes. And that's why it's very important mm. when you are trying to get in married con mm. co con uh, covenant yes. to know that you know that yes. the Lord has spoken yes, to you. Yes. And not just follow for anyone. Mm. Because I was like, okay, brother, you God spoke to you. Yes. Me too. God needs to speak to me. Wow. So I told him, yes. I want the Lord to speak yes, to me also. Yes, yes. So I asked him to give me time to mm, pray. Mm, prayer, mm, very important. Very, very because important. we have a God who hears prayers and yes. he answers prayers. Yes. And took time to go to Karuda Forest again. Mm -hmm. Me and my friend Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> we prayed and I came out there and I was able to tell him, yes, yeah. you're going to be my covenant partner for yes. the rest of my life. Yes. And... Uh, and the rest is history. And the rest is history. Yes. Wow. Yes. I know um, you have a book. Yes. And I can see it's written, Dear Linda. Yes. A remarkable love story. Mm -hmm. And it is inspired by the letters that yes. your husband was sending you. Yes. Could you walk us through this book and uh, the components of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Dear Linda is a compilation of our love letters. Mm -hmm. uh, during COVID, mm -hmm. of course, uh, even here in the nation, many, everything was shut down. Mm -hmm. So you have time to clean yes. up and all that. Yes. And so my dear Linda mm -hmm. uh, found these letters, which um, have been saved for several years. Mm -hmm. And he just handed it them to me. And uh, I sat down and mm -hmm. I started reading them. Mm -hmm. I could not leave where I was reading them. Yes. And I was weeping reading these letters. And uh, I, I would feel our heart, what we were telling each other, especially his letters to me, the bridegroom, the bridegroom, the bridegroom, his love letters to me. Yes. I, was I was crying. Mm -hmm. And as I finished reading them, I mm -hmm. had the Lord tell me, put these letters in, in a, a book. book because mm -hmm. they will inspire young men and young women who are looking for love. Mm. And it will, they will inspire the church, the yes. bride of Christ, the yes. church is a bride of Christ, yes. to prepare the church for the return of mm -hmm. the bridegroom, mm. Jesus. Mm. Because he was in the United States of America, I was in the continent of Africa. Yes. He was telling me, I am coming for you. Mm. And he came for me. Wow. And he came for me. We had a date, yes. 1994. Yes. And we had a beautiful wedding. So this letter is our passion to one another. Mm. We were not texting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is, <laughs> yes. I have the actual letters written uh, in a pen with yes. a beautiful handwriting. Yes. And uh, I put it together mm -hmm. and it has continued to inspire 
everyone who gets hold of this book mm -hmm. whether married mm -hmm. whether single yes uh even if you don't have uh christ as your lord and savior yes. i am telling you you'll be inspired yes. so much mm -hmm. because it's for god so loved the world that he gave yes. this letter is because of giving yes. love giving yes. love to one another mm -hmm. and my prayer is that the nations of the world mm -hmm. will be impacted yes. with our story his story and uh, so that uh, our generation mm -hmm. does not have to to error exactly in chasing for love yes. does not to error mm. in loving the Lord mm. our generation can know mm. how much yes. how much we are loved by the Lord mm. like he loved me yes that and, much and he still does yes <laughs> yes 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 nice. yes yes I, the, the smile on your face the glow tells it all yes and I feel like uh, this is so important especially now in our current uh, living circumstances, mm -hmm. uh, the world being a global village, yes. thanks to so much access to social media. Yes. You look left, you see a person who looks good, you look right, you see a person who looks better, you look forward, somebody who is taller than the other one. Yes. Like, um, maybe you can touch on that, uh, considering how your love happened at that time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that social media really is not are giving this kind mm -hmm. of of love yeah. but what is different then and what did you do you feel you both did right well <laughs> when uh, <laughs> of course we were in the church yeah so we found us we found one another in the church mm -hmm. serving the Lord and mm -hmm. loving the Lord mm -hmm. we 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 had a, a higher calling yes in such a way that when we were wanting one another, mm. we already had found hope. Yes. We have already anchored our lives yes. in, in a God that loved us so mm. much. Mm. So we, we had already known our identity. Mm. We had our identity, who we are in Christ. Wonderful. And uh, that was able to help us set a foundation mm. of this love relationship. Yes. Because if it was not the foundation of Christ, uh, I don't think we, we would be where we are because of the many things that we have gone through, One. the challenges of yes, life for these yes. 29 years. Yes. So in our generation, mm -hmm. uh, I do believe we need to, we need to find a foundation, mm -hmm. a foundation of knowing who I am, because I knew who I was. Even though I came from a village somewhere, yeah. from a mud house somewhere, mm -hmm. it did not define me. Exactly. It did not define me. Yes. Uh, because I knew who I was mm -hmm. in Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's why when he came to me and told mm -hmm. me, God has spoken to me, I was mm -hmm. like, I need to hear from the yes. Lord too. Yes. So I think uh, uh, finding a foundation mm -hmm. in God, yes. then uh, you, the, our generation can be able to to have a, a good love relationship mm. because it's a covenant, mm -hmm. it's a relationship, mm -hmm. it's a commitment. Yes. Uh, when the spouse comes, mm -hmm. they come as a destiny helper. Exactly. And that destiny has to be done in unity, yes. in covenant. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have a relationship with Christ, we are celebrating Christmas in a few mm -hmm. days here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that is uh, Jesus. Yes. Uh, he is our hope of glory. Yes. And he loves you and me. Mm -hmm. And before you find the love of another man, yes. like the way I found uh, the love <laughs> of Patrick, yes. I had already found the love of Christ yes. in me, the yes. hope of glory. Yes. So my prayer and what I can give my, my generation mm -hmm. is find the love of God as you celebrate this Christmas. Maybe you're struggling with love. Mm. Uh, it's not working right. Mm. Maybe it's a marriage that is uh, almost, uh, that is an rocky place. Mm. Maybe it's time to remember you are samosa yes. and you are Fanta. Yes. And then as you find that, you go to those basics. Where were we when we met? Yes. And uh, for our generation, mm. maybe we stop texting a lot. Maybe uh, we, we do face to face. Mm -hmm. Maybe right on her. Let yes. them see your handwriting. Yes. 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 <laughs> I agree. Let them see your handwriting. Let them feel you. Yes. You're real. Mm -hmm. uh, the online dating it can be very tricky. Yeah. Get to know this person. Yes. Because you could only be seeing their faces. You don't know how they smell, mm -hmm. how they look like. Mm -hmm. You don't know what says them up. Mm -hmm. Get to know this person mm -hmm. after you find the foundation mm 
mm. of, uh, of, uh, of celebrating yes. Christ yes. in Christmas, mm. and then you can be able to have somebody else who is stranger from you mm -hmm. come in your life. Yes. Because when that person comes in your life, your mm -hmm. life changes all over again. Very and true. you don't want it to change just for a day. Yes. It needs to be a long time. Mm. Because as the Bible says, uh, only death needs to do a spot. It's Exactly. Not uh, the, 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 the lack of money, yeah. not little fights here mm. and there. It's mm. only death you need to do as part. Mm. So that's what I would like to encourage my generation mm. uh, to find hope, mm -hmm. uh, the, especially this Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, as you celebrate. Mm. It's uh, the Christmas is Christ. Yes. It's Christ. Mm. Christ. Mass mm. Christ, mm. and it's for God so loved the world, mm -hmm. me and you, that He gave mm. His only Son, that whoever believes in you should mm. not perish yes. but have everlasting life. And mm. that's me and you. And when you love Him, mm. He will bring the perfect <laughs> lover to yes. you. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Such a timely message. Yeah, it's really lovely to see. Uh, such kind of love yes. and I love how you've connected it to Christ. I love, I love how you've connect, connected it to the bride mm -hmm. and how we have must prepare ourselves so yes. that Christ can come for us. Yes. So we're going to, sh to take a very short break yes. and when we are back I would love to know more about your philanthropy yes. and if you're comfortable with it you can tell us about how it was born. Yes. I know Shalom has a lot to do with it yes. and uh, a bit of Shalom and how you got here. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Great. <laughs> Viewers, I'm, I'm so happy. Um, I, I have not seen somebody glow so much after being, you know, in a th almost 30 years of marriage, loving Jesus and also celebrating him and doing his work accordingly. So don't lose hope. There's still good men out there. There's still good women out there. And uh, the secret, as we've heard from Rev, is that you have to hide in Christ. And they have to hide in Christ so that you can find them there. Okay, don't touch that. We'll be right back.